That was the opening cadenza, the first thing we play in the Clark Carnival of Venice. When I get to the final two notes of the cadenza, I like to add three notes ahead of them as a little arpeggio. Now this is a treble clef part, so if you were writing it in this part, you'd write a D, F, and G going into the B, and then to go to the B flat, you'd write a C, E, G. spelled out on that last one, the same chord the band will come in on or the piano when they join on that fermata. Then we have a nice melody that I'd call the verse section of this piece. It's not the theme, it's not the Carnival of Venice theme, and the hidden secret in this is we never get to play the theme outright. We play this verse section, and then the theme comes in in the band. We don't get to play the theme except in the last variation where the theme sneaks out amongst all the 32nd notes that are in there. Those, of course, are supposed to be accented, so it brings the theme out. When I perform it, I like to stretch rhythmically the melody notes slightly and then make up the time on the rest of the 30 seconds before the next melody note. And that gives it more of a duet effect, especially when you get into a hall where you have the echo and that loud punch you give on the melody note will carry through in the echo and cover up the rhythmic cheating you're doing as you try to make up the time. So in slow motion, I'm doing this. So you give a nice punch on the melody note, a nice taper off there so that taper blends with the echo that comes back from the room while you're playing the rest of the 30 second notes. Practice that slowly, and I think it'll be a little confusing at first, but you'll get it if you work on it. Thanks for listening.